Jade Foster and welcome to Decoy TV. Today we are interviewing young Kato at The Horn in Brighton. Um, so let's go inside and see what they've got to say. Hi guys, welcome to Decoy TV. My name is Jade Foster and today I am with two sixths of young Kato. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Thanks. Yeah, I'm great, thank you. Um, so just to get the interview started, I was just wondering, um, if you could describe your sound in three words, what three words would you choose? Um, energetic. Colourful. Uh, anthemic. Anthemic's a nice one. Um, and who are your musical influences? So either personal or as a band? Um, personally, stuff like uh, Tears for Fears, I guess. Yeah, me and Joe, as like, I guess we write the song in its simplest form uh, together. So we do actually draw to like the 80s, I guess, when when our kind of music thrived in the charts and stuff like that. So it's always great to look back. Yeah. Um, and even sometimes we, we even look in the present. Uh, we, we All of us are fans of like current music and we keep our eye on everything and upcoming things as well. Great. And um, so you're, you've been together for two years now. And um, what's been the highlight of your career so far? personally or as a band um, I think as a band maybe I think we did like our first proper show as Young Kato I mean and uh, it was at our local venue just a tiny little thing I think it was like six or seven people there but mm -hmm. it was when we sort of um, all the material sort of came together that we'd written and so it was sort of that was like our starting point our actual starting point we'd been together previously for a while then but for me that was like we were like ready to take this to like you know take it around and broadcast it showcase it uh, me personally, we did a. Um, we just literally came off our tour. I guess it was in November 2013. Um, we played Dingwalls, and there was like 400 kids just going mental, and like it felt, we felt, it felt amazing because people were singing it back, and literally through like a half a year or to a year of touring and like little things like the TV show and stuff like that. All of this has like it build up to that moment, and now we have. It feels like we have a really strong fan base in London. So really, I'm really proud of that. Good. Um, and so you guys have just announced a tour, haven't you? Uh, a big show. Oh, a big show. Okay, yeah. Um, um, so do you have any other plans for 2014? Yeah, it's going to be really busy for us, hopefully. I mean, we've just finished our album at the end of last year, which is like ready to go now. So we're going to release a few singles. We're off to Barcelona next weekend to film our next music video, which should be cool. Um, a lot of more touring, like hopefully with other bands, not just our own headline. Um, and then obviously the festival season, hopefully mm. play some really good festivals. Uh, we've been really lucky with like Radio 1 as well, like um, John has said. Um, we're just lucky that we've got our foot in the door with our latest like single Drink Dance Play mm. and they're, they're very eager to hear the next thing so we can't wait to show it to them and just keep going, hopefully build a really good relationship because Radio 1's key, it, like, it provides you with a fan base, it provides you with like community when you, like, your fans hear you on the radio and they tweet in and stuff, it's all great. Definitely. Um, so what's, what's the name of your next single, sorry? It's called Help Yourself. And that's the one you're shooting the video for? That's like, yeah, that's an exclusive for you, actually. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, and so this is just sort of a, a question. I don't know I don't know if you're going to have an answer to this, but have you had any, any weird fan-based experiences yet? Yeah, um, we had this really weird interview that made us cakes. And like, yeah, and oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, yeah, but thank you very much for them. But we did have a fan make us cakes as well, so it's great. Keep, yeah. keep them coming, but yeah. They like cake. What's your favourite cake? Standard. I like chocolate cake actually. But. Uh, yeah, gatto. Yeah, that's good. Gatto, gatto for young Kato. Yeah. Young gatto. Um, <laughs> so you've played on Made in Chelsea quite a few times, um, including you actually played in the background of one episode. Like you were actually on the on the on the episode, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, how did that come about? So, um, what sort of connection did you have, or how did you establish that? Um, initially, we didn't actually know because. The musical like programmer Andrea, she just got hold of our EP that we put out last year, maybe even the year before that, and she just started putting it in the background, sort of um, in some of the scenes, and yeah. we were got sort of surprised because we didn't know where she got it from, and then um, she kept playing us again, and then we got a call at the end of the last series, start of the new one, to say we want a band to like open the series, and we just got a call saying like, do you want to do it? And we're like, yeah, of course we do. Um, did you find that that um, that really helped your band gain the promotion that it needed, or? Because a lot of obviously, ba like the music industry is really hard to earn a lot of money. So for any like bands, would you would you recommend that sort of that sort of way in? Yeah, d definitely. I mean, like 
in some respect, we got like a bit of criticism as well for going on it because it's sort of like um, to be broadcast so instantly, it's so like immediate. It's so, some people sort of like, oh no, that's not like, the right way to go about it. But I mean, if you ask any sort of like young musician to be uh, given the opportunity to broadcast your music to like millions of people, you'd be silly to turn it down. So, so we just did it. It literally was a no-brainer. Like yeah. we, we thought about it like for about 30 seconds and said yes. It was simple. Yeah, yeah I guess it's sort of that you've got to think of other ways to get yourself in there to get in, to expand your fan base. Um, so your song Drink Dance Play is your first single, isn't it? Um, it reached number 18 in the UK singles chart. Um, what was the sort of inspiration behind this song? I mean, did you write it quite early as a band or did one of you write it and sort of pitch it to the others? Or? The, the, the actual track is like quite an anomaly to our writing process. I mean, it's usually like Tom said, it's like me and Tom. But this one was like actually the first one we wrote as well together as the formations of Young Kato. So it was really weird. It just sort of happened in a, in a band practice, sort of like, I hate the word jamming, but it was sort of like, yeah. it's just sort of all followed on from each other and it was sort of just happened and then we just built on it and it was within like an hour, it was in like two, an hour separately and then another hour it was it was done. We, we tried like to follow, I think it's really hard, like some bands get it like straight away, they follow like a riff and they try and build a song around that. But um, it, was, it was really cool because Harry came in, Joe came in, everyone like put their little input on it and literally like Joe said within an hour it was like pretty much done wasn't it. And we always improve it live and stuff like that and you'll, you'll find with a lot of our songs that they're never really finished. Um, so you'd hope, you'd hope you see them like from now and again, like you see them better live like as we go on. For example Breakout is a good example in our like catalogue. It's like got imp it's been improved like so much. Yeah. Like, throughout. Um so do you so obviously like decoy TV um is a chance for any musicians who are thinking about getting into a band or are already in a band but not quite sure what the next step is. Um do you have any advice for unsigned bands? Um so around Brighton or around the UK or around the world even, who say want to have their own headline tour or something like that but don't really know how to go about it. Like what would you say to them in order to sort of push them forward a little bit? Um, I don't know really, just play as much as you can, wherever you can. Um, I mean, yeah, we spent a lot of the time, you know, just trekking up and down the country, just playing to like all day events where there's not many people there, but the people that you are there, like you just put on the best show that you can. And I don't know really, it's just all about, just get, it sounds really cliche, but just getting yourself out there and just showing like what your band's about and yeah, just keep, keep on going really. Definitely, it's about perseverance, like passion for, like, for your own music. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Um, you're, if you're from Brighton, it's like perfect because Brighton's amazing for music. We're from Cheltenham. There's not, there's no real scene. There's no real, there's a few venues, but you're really lucky if you're in Brighton because you've got everything here for you, ready to go. So just get in a band with your mates and enjoy it. Okay, thanks so much, guys. Um, this has been Decoy TV's first interview. Um, we hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, tune in, guys. Hi, we're Young Kato. You're watching Decoy TV. If you want to know more about us, click the link below.